Let's get to some pop news, shall we? <laughs> Prince Harry's Prince Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, has uh, a corgi problem, Josh. <laughs> Her corgis. <coughs> Oh, her boy. corgis are misbehaving. <laughs> so Her Majesty is now turning to reality TV, which is very, you know, this is a modern day monarchy. Right. Right. She's hired that one, I have a problem with, I might add. She's hired one of the regulars on the show, Britain's worst pet. And animal behaviorist Dr. Roger Mugford, who's known as England's <laughs> own dog whisperer, is now charged with getting Monty, Willow, and Holly up to royal standards. And just FYI, the queen also has three dorgies, <laughs> which are corgi dachshund mixes named Candy, Cider, and Vulcan. Vulcan? Where, did, where did the Wait, queen come the up with? A, this queen's a trekker? Yeah, I knew. I knew. Is she really? I knew you would find that fascinating. Now that is accessible. Yes. <laughs> A lot of things they do are accessible. Uh, no word yet on whether or not the lesson will be featured on an upcoming episode, yeah. but we wish you luck with your corgi problem. <laughs> In other pop news, uh, this guy, Alec Baldwin, may become a daddy soon. Oh. We're hearing from the New York Post at an event this weekend in the Hamptons. Guests were buzzing not only about Alex's terrific speech, but also about what appeared to be a tiny glimpse of the beginnings of a baby bump. Did I catch that enough? On his brand new bride, Ilaria. It will not be easy for anyone to tell though, because as you know, Josh, she's yes. a yoga instructor. You found oh, out yes. firsthand when she oh, came good. onto the show yes, and taught us poses. Uh, so we wish the very happy couple the best. Oh, come and on, I was wearing a suit, people. Like, oh. I, I not, you know, we don't, we're not sure. This is we all pres pre presumptive, but uh, but we, they're a terrific couple, and I wanted to figure out a reason to show the video of yeah. you doing yoga. <laughs> And, uh, and finally, in pop news, I've been playing with this pen uh, all morning because big pens, they know what I want. Me being a woman, they have designed a line of pens especially for we gals. It's called the Big Crystal for her. The pens are available in a variety of pastels, and they boast of having a thin barrel to fit a woman's hand. <laughs> Anybody got a really big sharpie? Anybody? <laughs> come on, come on. I can catch it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. You were saying? Well, Josh, the reviews are in. Tracy Hamilton writes on Amazon, where has this pen been all That's my not life? True. That's not that true. That is a real review. Bay Area guy wonders if using the Bic for her makes him a cross writer. <laughs> And Lucky Lady 1978 says, ask your husband for some extra pocket money so you can buy one today. <laughs> Why do pens sound dirty? Wow. <laughs> and that's Pop News, Hey! Josh.